I think superheroes express America. Superheroes at their best express America at its best. You know, superheroes were invented uh, in, the, in the 1930s, just around the time that America was emerging onto the, the world stage. And superheroes grew in popularity and in visibility as America was coming into its own as a global superpower. So there's something about that. There's something about the relationship between superheroes um, and, and America where each mirrors the other. Superheroes express something deeply American, in my opinion. It, it, in part because um, the superhero story is the immigrant story, right? The very first superhero in, in the entire world was Superman, who is the ultimate immigrant, who's from another culture. He has these two different names that he uses. He has this American name, Clark Kent, his really foreign sounding name, Cal L. Uh, a lot of his story is about um, figuring out when to hide and when to reveal his true self, when to hide and when to reveal his cultural identity. Uh, I, I think all of that is deeply, deeply American. It's deeply, like America is a nation of immigrants. Superheroes are like a science fiction expression of the immigrant story. It, is that changing? I'm, I'm not totally sure. So about a year and a half ago, two years ago, the New York Times published an op-ed. It was written by an Asian writer, not an Asian American writer, an Asian writer who argues that an Asian superhero, not an Asian American, but an Asian superhero is an oxymoron because of exactly that, because superheroes express something so deeply American, if you try to transplant that idea into another culture, it simply won't work, you know? And I don't know, I don't know. Right now, uh, for DC Comics, I'm writing a monthly series called New Superman, which is about a Chinese Superman. It's about a 17-year-old kid growing up in Shanghai, not a Chinese American, a Chinese kid, uh, who inherits some of Clark Kent's powers and becomes the Superman of China. Um, I started that project wanting to disprove that op-ed, wanting to say, you know, superheroes might have started as an American idea, but you can move it into other cultures. But I have to say, I've written 15 issues, and I've realized that I'm actually still writing about America. <laughs> Even though I'm writing this Chinese character, I'm still writing about America.